Hello YouTube! Welcome to another video. Today is no tip and trick video, no workshop video. Today we go back to the roots. We craft a shrink cup out of this trunk. The last video I showed you this drinking cup and now I explain you how to do it. For start we need a trunk uh, from a wood who is easy to carve, for example, uh, birch or alder wood. And the first step is to cut away a piece about 10 centimeter length. How to cut through such a trunk where the diameter is bigger than the saw length, I showed you already in this old video. Now we have to make a hole through the full length. I start on both sides with the reamer. First side. Second side. Now I try to take out these fibers inside the hole with the corkscrew. Next step is to drill a hole through it. For that, I turn the saw blade in. How this exactly work, I showed you already in this old video. So, okay, so uh, this step needed a lot of patience. So I needed more than half an hour, but now the holes are deep enough on both sides. The problem is that the two holes don't join each other, but doesn't matter. Now I start to weaken the holes first with the small blade after with the big blade. Yes! <laughs> now we have a milestone. The hole is through all the way. Yoo <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Always Change the cutting direction when your knife begins to jerk. 
like this, you receive a smoother surface. Mm. <laughs> That's enough for the moment. Now I start to make the channel with the modified hook. And if you want to know how I modified this hook, please check this video. And in this channel, I press the base in. Now the channel is finished. Look at this. So, thanks to the hook, it works perfect. Next step is to craft the ground. Now it's time to craft the bottom of the cup. For that I cut it away another piece and now I split out a small board about 8 mm thickness. Okay, from the second side Take carefully out the knife and I prepared a little wedge. So. This is the board for the base. Now I carve the board as flat as possible. Okay, that should be nice. Now I extend the pen of the Swiss Army knife that I can draw in the shape of the ground. So now this is done. Now I draw in a mark that I know in which position the bottom belongs to the wall part of the cup.
Now I carve out the ground and I make the ground about one millimeter bigger than the line with the pen. Okay. Now I temper the edge of the ground like this until the full diameter has a thickness of 2 mm. The base is done so far and now comes the hard part. Now I have, I have to fit the bottom exactly on the shape of this hole. A little bit bigger so that I can gently press in the bottom. It's important that you hammer really gently and you will feel it when the base is snapped into the groove. Now it's in. Normally the cup is not sealed now, but this is a shrink cup. That means that the rim contract more than the bottom and he will clamp in. Uh, when wood dries, the wood contract much more in the, in the direction of the diameter than in the length. And at the bottom, the fevers are lengthwise. So it works. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it works. Okay, now uh, let's try out if it's sealed. I don't think so, but possible. Rip. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not sealed. <laughs> but I'm sure in two or three weeks his cup is sealed. Okay, my friends, that was a hard piece of work. <laughs> so, uh, I'm really freezing and I'm happy that we are finished now. Um, on my YouTube channel, you find different videos workshop videos, uh, tip and tricks videos, and project videos. So, uh, feel free to uh, check it out. <laughs> Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao.